Chocolate Bean can cook. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Bean, with me, Erin Wells. And you read that title correctly. We are making mouth-watering vegan ribs. And we're going to jack these bad boys up with jackfruit. Let's get started. The jackfruit is really gonna help give our ribs the, um, an extra meaty texture. All I did was put my oven on 350, season both sides with my homemade taco seasoning. You should really make you some. It's, it saves a ton of time. And pop them in the oven for 10 minutes on one side, 10 minutes on the other side. Jackfruit are out of the oven and here is what they look like. All seasoned and whatever. So now we're gonna mess them all up by mashing them. But actually it makes them better because you can't eat them like this in a dish. Okay, let's just mash. Let's mash them up. So if you guys watch my vegan steak video, we're gonna be using the same thing. Good old vital wheat gluten. So let's get started with our mixture. One and one fourth cup of vital wheat gluten or seitan. Three tablespoons nutritional yeast. One tablespoon paprika. One tablespoon onion powder. One tablespoon garlic powder. Salt and pepper to taste. Now you're gonna whisk everything together till well mixed. Now for our wet ingredients. One cup of water. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. You can always use liquid aminos. I had low sodium soy sauce, guys. I'm gonna add a little extra salt as well to make up for that. I know some of y'all saying that wasn't just a little, but don't judge me. So now we're gonna combine all our dry ingredients, our wet ingredients, and our jackfruit all together to make our ribs. Y'all excited? I'm excited. I just... Okay, I'm not excited yet till it comes out of the oven, but I'm still, I'm getting there. It's coming. The excitement is coming. Before I forget, guys, go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. And what I might do with the jackfruit, any pieces that might still be a little big, just kind of separate it with your clean hands. Alright, here we go guys. Get everything all combined here. Now we're gonna grease our baking dish before placing our jackfruit ribs inside. You can use the spray grease stuff guys, I just don't like it. All right, before I place these in the oven, guys, I'm gonna pre-score them so that when they're all done, it'll be easier to cook. Okay, into the oven these go for 30 minutes before we come back and baste them with barbecue sauce. Okay, guys, it has been 30 minutes and I am joined by my little cousin. What's your name? Aiden. Aiden, don't mind his eyes looking red. He just got out of the pool, so that's that. All right, so I have just taken our jackfruit out of the oven. And this is what we're looking like, guys. <laughs> we're gonna cover them with barbecue sauce and Aiden's gonna help us out with that. <laughs> we are using Sweet Baby Rays. There we go, now spread it around. Yeah, Aiden, there you go. There you go. That's a good job. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it. Now we got a barbecue sauce the other side. All right, let's let everybody see. Aiden did both sides. He did a great job. So both sides are done. Now we're gonna stick the ribs, the big ribs, back into the oven for 20 more minutes so the barbecue sauce can caramelize. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, now I have all three of my cousins. Sorry to confuse y'all. They were in my room watching TV. What's your name? Angelica. Angelica and, and Clayton. 
and you guys already met Aiden. It has been 20 minutes. We're about to take our fake ribs. We're gonna take our fake ribs out of the oven now. Here's what we're looking like, guys. This is sorry, struggle hand holding it with one hand. While our ribs cool, guys, we're going to try this vegan mac from Annie's. We're using herb salad, soy free butter. Oh, they look so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the macaroni. Yeah. They cut very succulent. Like His opinion was the truth. I thought it was delicious, but got his. And these are reheated. It's the next day, so if you don't like it, that's what I'm gonna blame because they reheated. It tastes like pork ribs. Pork? Oh, so you don't know what beef? I don't remember what beef tastes like. I know what beef tastes like, but these are good. Like you know, from what I remember, pork tend to have a little bit more flavor because it's more fatty. Mm. These taste like pork ribs. They're good. Take it from me. I just had some ribs last week. A whole slab. Real talk, they're good. Hey, meat eat eater, one. meat eater approved. So if y'all have a grill, I don't have one. If y'all have a grill, that would be bomb.com. Let me know, guys, if you make this down below. I would love, love, love to hear if your recipes worked. And I've also added this video to my vegan barbecue playlist for you guys' enjoyment. All right, till next time. As always, make sure you like, Comment and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, these are very non-vegan children, and Clayton asked me why I eat fake food, and I told him because I like the taste of uh, meat. I just didn't want to hurt animals anymore. Did you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, and I said it's okay that he still eats meat. I did when I was little. It's a decision you can make when you, whenever you want to come to it.